Herkese merhaba. Hello everyone. I am back with a new grammar lesson after a long time. Uh, the lesson is about plural forms. Our subject is plural forms. Lar, lar suffixes. Actually, you might be familiar with this subject because in the previous lesson, I have uh, talked about them a little bit. Because our subject was this and that and I have um, taught you the, your uh, plural forms. So you are familiar with lar, lar. If you haven't watched the previous lesson yet, I'll give the link in the in below and uh, you can watch it first and you can go on with this lesson, okay? So our subject is plural forms and our suffixes we use lar, lar, depending on the word we are using, okay? Now let's go into the detail now. Tekil çoğul. In Turkish tekil means singular, çoğul means plural, okay? So these are the singular forms of the words. These are the plural forms of the words, okay? Uh, as I said before, in with some words we use lar or lar, depending on the word. So how do we choose which one to use? How do we decide? Which one is the right one? So this is the rule actually. This is the basic rule. You will see a lot of times, so many times in Turkish. Especially um, in the process, process of suffixation. Okay? When we are adding some suffixes to the words, gen generally we follow these, this rule. Okay? So as you can see, we have the sounds A, U, O, U. If the word, if the word has a has one of these sounds in the last vowel, we need to use lar, okay? And if the word, our word, has a one of these sounds in its um, the last vowel, we have to use lar. Now you will see it uh, better in the uh, examples, with the examples. Have a look at this one. Kitap. Okay, kitap. Our word is kitap and it means book. Kitap. So when we want to make it plural, when we want to turn into plural form, we need to have a look at the last vowel. Okay, the last vowel. Ah. This is the final vowel of the word, as you can see. So, ah. If we have ah, we need to use lar. So, we say kitap, lar, books. Okay? Let's have a look at this one. Kız, kız. The final vowel is final and the only vowel is uh, uh. So, ı, after ı, after the vowel ı, we need to use lar. So we say kızlar, okay? By the way, kız means girl, kızlar means girls. Kız, kızlar. Another example, kutu. Kutu, it means box. So, the final vowel is u, as you can see, u. Let's have a look at it. U. So we need to use lar with the verb. Kutu lar. Kutu lar. Box. Boxes. Okay? Kutu. Kutu lar. Television. Television. Television. The final vowel is o. So o is here. So we need to use lar. Suffix. Televizyonlar, televizyonlar, televizyon, televizyonlar. Pencere, it means window. Pencere, pencereler. Have a look at the 
Final vowel son harfe bakıyoruz son sesli harf e final vowel is e so here is the e the sound e so we need to use ler okay pencereler pencere pencereler window windows pencere pencereler kedi Kediler, kedi, cat. Kediler, cats. Kedi, the final vowel is i. Son sesli harf i. Okay, i. O zaman ne kullanıyoruz? Then what do we use? Ler. Kediler, okay, kedi, ler. Köy. It means village or uh, it's like countryside, village. Köy. We have köy. Ö, the ö sound. Ö, ö, so we need to use ler. Köyler. Köy, köyler. Üzüm. Grape. Üzüm. Üzümler. We have the sound ü as a final vowel. So we need to say üzümler. Üzümler. Üzümler. Grape, grapes. Tamam. Devam edelim. Let's go on. Çanta. Çantalar. Çanta. Çanta. The sound a. Çanta. Çantalar. Masa. Masa. Sa. The sound is the, la the latest sound. The final sound is a. So we say masalar. Tabak. Bak. Ba. So we say tabak. Lar. Okay. Tamam. Göz. Göz. Göz. So we say göz. Gözler. Gözler. Resim. Resim. By the way, I didn't tell you their meanings. First let me tell you the meanings. Çanta. It means bag. Okay. Masa. Table. Çanta. Bag, çantalar, bags, masa, table, tabak, plate, göz, ay, resim, picture, resim, resimler, resim, sim, the sound is e, the, the final sound, the final vowel is e, so we use resimler, ayakkabı. Ayakkabı. Ayakkabılar. Ayakkabı means shoe. Ayakkabılar shoes. Ayakkabı. The, the final vowel is ı. So we need to use use lar. Ayakkabılar. Okay? By the way, when we use this word, for example, I want to buy shoes, okay? So you want to say that I want to buy shoes. In Turkish we don't say it in say it, say this word in plural forms. It's not necessary. We say ayakkabı almak istiyorum. Ayakkabı almak istiyorum. So we don't say ayakkabılar almak istiyorum. If you say ayakkabı almak istiyorum, it means that Already you want to take a pair of shoes, okay? But if you say ayakkabılar almak istiyorum, it means that you want to buy more than one pair of shoes, okay? Ayakkabı almak istiyorum. Mostly we say ayakkabı almak istiyorum. Anyway, let's go on. Yüzük. It means ring, ring, yüzük. 
Yüzükler. Yüzük, yüzükler. The final sound is ü. Ü, yüzükler. Yüzükler. Okay. Bardak. Bardak. Bardaklar. Bardak. Bardaklar. Bardak means glass. Okay. Bardaklar. Glasses. Okay. Bardak. Bardaklar. We have the we have the sound a as a final sound, so we need to say bardaklar. Okay. I hope this one is clear. If you have any question related to this part, you can ask your guest questions in uh, in the comment section. Let's go on. Now I want to talk about uh, two different details. Okay, not I have two notes for you. You need to be careful about these ones. The first one is about the quantities. It's like, I mean, when we use plural form, when we talk about an object, okay, more than one, okay, um, it's not singular. We use the full plural form, plural. For example, kalemler. Uh, mesela, for example, iki kalem. Not bir kalem. Not one pencil. Two pencil. We don't say iki kalemler, okay? We don't say iki kalemler, as you can see. These words, üç, iki, beş, this shows that these are plural, okay? More than one. But we don't use plural suffixes. Because in Turkish, the sense is like this. The logic behind this rule is... By saying, by using a quantifier like 3, 2, 5, as, çok, birkaç, I'll talk about them in a minute. You actually show that you talk about an object, something more than one. It's plural form. So, you don't use the plural form again and again. For example, 3 çocuk, 3 children. Çocuk means child, but when we say üç, it becomes children. But we don't say çocuklar, we don't say it necessarily. Because we know that when we say üç, it is automatically plural. Üç çocuk. İki kalem. Two pencils. İki kalem. We don't say iki kalemler. There is no necessary for it, okay? It's not, it's not necessary. We need to say iki kalem because by saying iki, we already know that we have two. So it's plural. So we say iki kalem. İki kalemler, we don't say iki kalemler. Uh -uh. Beş bardak. Beş bardak. Again here, beş means five. So we know that it's more than one. It's not singular. So, we don't say bardaklar still. We say beş bardak. Because we know that it's more than one actually by saying beş. Tamam? Beş bardak. Devam edelim. Az, it means little, few. Okay? Az kişi. Few people. Kişi means person. Okay, but when we say as, kişi, we mean that few people. But we don't use the kişi in a plural form. We say kişi. We don't say kişiler. Uh -uh. We say as kişi. As kişi, it's like few people. Not one, okay? More than one. So it's plural. But we don't use it in plural form. As kişi. Çok insan. Çok insan. Çok means many, a lot. Okay, many, a lot. İnsan means human or 
it sometimes depending on the uh, set depending on the um, the text the context um, we say we translate it as person okay or people human being human person people okay depends on the text context so çok means a lot of a lot of people insan means person it's a singular form but we keep it singular although we use a plural um, meaning by saying çok okay this shows that we talk about more than one person one human but still we, we use it in a singular form çok insan birkaç öğrenci birkaç öğrenci birkaç is like um, few it's like some okay so again this shows that it's more than one but we still use singular form of this word it means öğrenci it means student öğrenci student birkaç öğrenci we don't say birkaç öğrenciler uh -uh. we can say öğrenciler alone when we use this word alone we can say öğrenciler öğrenciler çok çalışkan the students are very hard working this way it's correct but if we say birkaç öğrenciler this time it's wrong because when we use birkaç it shows that this is a plural form actually so we don't say it in a plural form again this word okay birkaç öğrenci so i repeat if we use a quantifier at some words that shows quant uh, quantific i mean the quantity we don't use the words in the plural form although they give the meaning of pluralness okay plural form we don't use them in plural form okay but we know that uh, their meanings shows that it's more than one okay so let's go on another rule number two in Turkish we have some words which are not um, originally Turkish they are from the other languages like Arabic uh, Persian or French maybe English etc so they are not uh, originally Turkish words so these words are exceptions as you can see these words doesn't follow this rule for example normally in our rule if we follow our rule we need to say saatlar but we don't say saatlar when we speak we say saatlar this is against the rule but these are the um, foreign words okay so these are the exceptions we use lar suffix with them although in the rule we need to say lar but these are the exceptions okay saat lar hayal lar hal lar seyahat lar seyahat means travel it ends with the sound r in the final um I mean in the final part okay so normally we need to say seyahatlar but we don't say we say seyahatlar okay rol it's a foreign word rol after o let's remember the rule after o if we have the sound o as a latest as a final um, vowel we need to use lar but here we don't follow this rule as you can see we use lar okay alkollar sembollar misallar meşgullar petrollar 
kalpler, idealler, okay? So these are all um, foreign words. That's why we don't follow the rule. These are the exceptions, okay? <clears throat> Aşağıdaki kelimeleri çoğul yapalım. Let's make the words below plural form. Okay, let's turn them into plural form. First of all, you can try it by yourself. In a minute, I'll give you the answers. Okay, we will check the answers together. Before I start, before I show you the an answers, please try to do it yourself by using these, this rule. So it will be a good practice for you. Now I will show you the answer. Please check your answers. Here are the answers. Let's check them. Deftar, deftarlar. Elbise, elbiseler. Deftar means notebook, okay? Elbise, dress. Elbiseler. Banka, bank. Bankalar. Biletler, bilet. Biletler. Bilet means ticket. Erkek. It means boy. Erkekler. Öğrenci. It means student. Öğrenciler. Sorun. It means problem. Sometimes it means matter. Sorunlar. Ev. It means house or home, depending on the context. Evler. Film. Filmler. Balık. It means fish. Balıklar. <coughs> Eczane. Eczaneler. It means pharmacy. Eczaneler. Oda. Odalar. Oda means room. Ekmekler. Ekmek, ekmekler. Ekmek means bread. Bulaşık. Bulaşıklar. Bulaşık means dish. Okay? Dishes. Bulaşıklar. Kahve. Coffee. Kahveler. Park. Parklar. Otel. Oteller. It means hotel. Numara. Number. Numaralar. Sandalye. Chair. Sandalyeler. Orman. It means forest. Ormanlar. Kira. It means rent. Kiralar. Piano. Piyanolar. Kadın. It means woman. Kadınlar. Patates. Potato. Patatesler. Bilgisayar. Computer. Bilgisayarlar. Ayna. Mirror. Aynalar. I hope everything is clear. If you have any question related to with this um, exercise or any other point, please feel free to ask me in the comment section on YouTube and you can follow me on Instagram it is learn Turkish with Burcu okay you can follow me by this name I share some photos and some translation I share some new in Turkish words and explanations of them with examples so I think it will be helpful for you to learn a um, new vocabulary daily okay so you can follow me on Instagram. I will be very glad.
Thank you for listening to me. If you have any question, you can ask me on Instagram or YouTube. Kendinize iyi bakın. Beni dinlediğiniz için teşekkür ederim. Take care of yourself. Thank you for listening to me. And see you later. Daha sonra görüşürüz.